Why wolves sometimes don't like men. <laughs> You've probably heard this one before. Wolves don't like men. Well, sometimes that's actually true, and here's why. Wolves read the world through body language, scent, posture, and energy far more than we do. And men, without even meaning to, hit a bunch of wolfy alarm bells. First of all, testosterone has a smell. Wolves can detect it, and higher testosterone often signals big, dominant male in wolf language. That can feel intimidating, especially to young wolves or nervous ones. Second, men tend to be taller, broader, louder, and move with sharper, more direct gestures. To a wolf, that can look like a challenger. Women usually offer softer posture, more sideways, slower movements, which wolves often perceive as safer. Third, voice matters. Deep voice travels farther, vibrates deeper, and can mimic territorial calls. Wolves are hypersensitive to sound, so male voices sometimes read as a warning, even when they're not. And there's an evolutionary layer too. Historically, men were more often the hunters, the ones pushing wolves from the territories. Wolves learn from experience and their instincts catalog patterns over generations. But here is the key. Wolves don't hate men. What they react to are threat signals. If a man softens his body, avoids direct eye contact, lowers his voice, wolves relax. Many bond beautifully with gentle, calm men. Women simply tend to give off fewer threatening cues. That's it. Not magic, just biology and behavior. And when it comes to non-binary people, Wolves don't care about human labels. They care about hormones, scent profiles, and energy. A wolf will read your true hormonal sex instantly through smell, estrogen, testosterone, pheromones long before you speak. Their reactions map to scent and behavior, not your identity or how you present yourself. At the end of the day, wolves respond to the biology in front of them and the kindness behind it. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs>